I think we can officially call this a crisis. <laughs> Hello and welcome to episode number 28 of Saving Sunderland, Homegrown Heroes Save, where I attempt to turn Sunderland into a top six side using only British and Irish players. We are in the middle of what is currently be described as a crisis of confidence at the moment. We've only played one game since we were last together and that was a very poor 3-1 away defeat to Crystal Palace. Courtney House scoring our goal and we were, we were just completely outclassed. We have not one in the league since the 16th of January. That is nearly two months ago now, but that was against Man City, so that was a positive. Hmm. We've beaten Newcastle in the Cup and we've drawn against Burnley in the Cup, and we've got a home tie against Burnley today in the FA Cup. Fifth round, the winners will play Manchester City away. That's a tough game, but we have beaten City before away from home, so we're quietly confident if we can get past Burnley. In terms of the league, at the moment it's still 8 points above the relegation zone. That is a concern. 8 points is not a huge amount. That's like potentially 3 straight defeats and we could be in that relegation zone. So effectively we've got 7 games beyond that if we lose the next 3 to stay up. So not a huge amount of points but we just need to get over that line. It is a very tight league at the moment. Eight points could get a sixth, or could get its eighteenth. Really tight, really quite stressful end of the season at the moment. And we've got some tough games to come. Man United, Chelsea, Newcastle. So we should be okay. Should. Changes have been made. Unfortunately, I don't feel confident enough to drop Jordan Pickford because I don't have that much faith in Marcus Bettinelli. If Joe Wildsmith had not gone out on loan, he would be in today, but he's not. It's Pickford in goal. It's Trippier, Dawson, Gibson and House as my back four, so Courtney House goes to left back, Ben Gibson comes to centre-half, and Clayton Baines drops out of the squad entirely. Two centre midfielders are Charlie Adam and Harry Arter, with Duncan Watmore replacing... Well, Reese Nelson on the right hand side. Reese Nelson replaces Jack Grealish on the left. Jason Cummins replaces Jermaine Defoe in the centre. And Danny Ings is my complete forward on attack. This side should be good enough to comfortably see off Burnley. But I said that in the last episode. And you all saw what happened then. The winners get the Etihad and Manchester City. The losers just get a depressing notion that they're out of the FA Cup. I'm at this stage with a save at the moment where the British Post Office Danny Ings has a good shot with a save by Button, where with this save I've got just over a month before FM18 comes out. So I don't really want to start something else, but I don't really feel we're going very far with Sunderland at the moment. I think in the summer there's going to be quite a lot of work going on in terms of rebuilding my squad entirely and giving it another season, potentially two. I think I've got two seasons. This is episode 28 now, which is, I've been doing it for 28 days. So I think I've got potentially another two, if not three seasons, as Reese Nelson puts his one and up after 15 minutes. Good play on the left hand side by Courtney House, played into Reese Nelson, and Nelson powers the ball home. So another two more seasons to go. I think it'd be going somewhere to get us into the into the, winning the league, which was my original aim when I set the save up 28 days ago, to see if we could do that. But I think we can improve gradually. We're taking a step back in the league undoubtedly this season. So something tactically isn't quite right with my squad at the moment. So I've got work to do on that, and I usually I'm fairly tactically inept. So I am going to. It's going to be a challenge, but I think we can do it. As Reese Nelson scores again. I don't know where this is going from. 2 0 up already. 36 minutes gone. What more cuts to the byline? Cross it in, and Nelson at the back stick, unmarked, puts it home. Really, really positive start to the game so far. As I say, I'm tactically inept, so as Trippier puts his 3 0 up. This is. This is <laughs> Why couldn't this have been happened in the first game? So I could not have to record two episodes in a day. But Trippier has made it 3 0. 
I'm trying to say some important things to them, so stop scoring goals, please. So, yeah, two more series to go. I think we should, if we can get into Europe in one of those, I might do a third season. I've got no plans to do another save, but I'm not going to make any changes at the moment. I say no plans to do another save, but I want to keep this going until I hit FM18. And once FM18 comes out, I will want to play that game. It's not going to affect my audience because at the moment I haven't really got an established audience, but I do want to get onto FM18. I do want to get more viewers involved in this. So by moving to FM18, I will hopefully get that. This channel will grow, which is what I'm trying to do at the moment. So that is the aim. FM18, a new save on that, which will probably be, I think, in Premier League at the moment, but I change my mind fairly often. But I digress. Let's get back to the game. Defoe on for Ings. And Brown on for what more? So FM18, yes, it's going to hopefully be a Premier League save. Probably just a get in and play, no real restrictions on it. I do have one club in mind that I'm, that I'm interested in, but I'll, I could change my mind, so I won't name that now. But that's my initial idea, and I've got two or three other ideas I'd like to do as the game goes forward, which hopefully I'll have time to do, and we'll see how it goes. We'll go 4-0 up. Now Danny Ings scoring that goal. Good play from Reese Nelson on the left-hand side. Played it in, and Ings scored. I do need to get in a striker to support Ings, I think. Hooper's going to get released at the end of the season. Defoe's going to retire. Cummings has not had a great season compared to last season. So we're putting a lot of pressure on Danny Ings to score the goals. So one, maybe two more strikers coming in to really support him. I think my attack of players from the wings and my shadow strikers, that three I have in midfield, I think I'm very happy with what I've got. There's very little to improve there, I think got feel potentially another centre midfielder centre back wise I'm, all, I'm okay probably need another left back but I want to maybe give some younger players a chance but we'll see how it goes in some I'm not going to have a huge amount of money to spend maybe 15 20 million I'm just we go five done up Jermaine Defoe scores that goal perhaps I should concentrate on not actually talking about the game and just randomly waffling about my plans for the future during all games and we, we win five nil so Jermaine Defoe scored that one it's a fantastic finish Gonna make one more change. Gonna look to bring on Jack Rodwell on for Charlie Adam. As we have a very comfortable last 20 minutes ahead of us. Been a really, really good performance from us today. Our reward is Man City away from home. But we do have some important league games to get out of the way first. And hopefully we can pick up some points because I really don't want a relegation battle. Nelson. Oh, Reese Nelson. First hat trick for us. Eight for the season. I will hopefully look to get him back next season. He's on loan from Arsenal at the moment. I might put a cheeky bid in for him, but I imagine it would be rejected. He's only 18 or 19, but he's a really good player for us this season. I really don't want us to score any more because I want us to save some goals in the tank for next week's game, home to Watford. But as results go, a 6-0 victory over Burnley has been a very pleasing result for us. I'll take that as a result. You certainly get goals in these live comms, don't you? That's the third time, this, fourth time this season we've had six goals. 2-5-1 defeats to Newcastle and Chelsea. 4-2 victory over Newcastle and now 6-0 win over Burnley. So you're getting entertainment for your viewing pleasure. If that even makes any sense whatsoever, but... If you've enjoyed, please leave a like. If you're new to the channel, please do subscribe. I'm the FM Novice. I'll talk to you again very soon. Thank you very much and have a good evening.